gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and today's video is going to be my 8 week update. So as you guys already know I've already announced that I am pregnant and we waited. Um, well, I wanted to wait until I got like an ultrasound and all of that to announce. So of course we got that on the day that I announced um, just because with everything going on in the world and you know COVID still being a thing I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. And it was, they said that everything looked good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about my symptoms and show you guys my belly and the um, ultrasound picture. And yeah, so if you guys are new, I hope that you will subscribe and join my little YouTube family for our new journey. I do have a almost three year old son and a husband and a dog and a cat as well as part of our family. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my symptoms um so i do have like tender booms that was like the first symptom that i had and it didn't really lead me into thinking that i was pregnant because like the last few months i've had tender boobs and i've gotten negative tests um so that wasn't like i didn't have anything really like saying that i was pregnant i just you know got a positive test and was like oh my god um but another symptom I've had has been nausea, which is something I did not have with Parker at all. Um, I was extremely lucky. I think maybe like, maybe a couple times or something I felt nausea because I remember getting like some prenatal nausea stuff. But for like the most part, I was not like sick. I did not feel sick. But this time it started around six weeks for nausea and I've thrown up a few times but the most part is just being nauseous. Like it's usually right after I get out of bed as I feel nauseous, like right after Parker comes out and we go and sit on the, uh, sit on the couch and like watch his cartoons, I will feel nauseous till about like 10 something and then somewhere in the afternoon I usually start feeling nauseous again and then now around after like the eight week mark um the like evening time has kind of slowed down but for like six through eight weeks at um after we would eat dinner i would start to feel nauseous or while we were eating dinner i would start to feel nauseous so that was not fun um and i did go ahead and pick up some of those um lollipops and like the the drops I'll insert the pictures right here of what they are and they seem to help I just had one right before this video because I felt a little icky um, but I mean they're, they're kind of helpful it's not like the most powerful thing um, but my OB did say if it starts getting really bad that she can per, you know prescribe me with something but I think I could stick it out and not have to get any of that because I'm not like puking all the time or anything like that um, sorry Another symptom is just being exhausted. Like it doesn't matter if I sleep really well, I'm just, I'm tuckered out. Like I, raising a toddler is hard anyway, but like doing that while being in the beginning of your pregnancy, I just felt extremely tired and I was like, what is going on? Like I couldn't like nap when Parker was napping, like I couldn't fall asleep, but I felt exhausted, just exhausted. Um, so that has been another symptom. And I think that's been it so far for my symptoms. I haven't been craving any food or anything like that um, yet. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. So for the app I'm using to like track the pregnancy wise, I am using what to expect. I can't remember which one I used for Parker's pregnancy, but it wasn't this one. Um, but first, so for eight weeks, it says that baby is as big as a raspberry and it is 0.5 inches. And then it gives you a little picture yeah so it gives you a little picture and like some common symptoms like gas and bloating and all that stuff um, and tells you about what upcoming screenings and things like that you will have but um, yeah, I'm using the what to expect app and then so I had my first appointment and of course nobody sorry there's a hair right there nobody could go with me so my dad had to watch Parker and my husband was at work anyway and he couldn't come because you're not allowed to bring guests or anything 
So when I went, they took my temperature, and all that, and like asked me some questions to make sure I didn't like go out of the country or anything like that. Um, and yeah, so I had my um, ultrasound first. So the first thing they did after paperwork was I got my ultrasound, and this is what baby looks like. If I can show you Okay, so that is what baby looks like, and she said that it looked like it came from my root my wrote my right art or er, my right <laughs> Jesus. she said it looked like it came from my right ovary um so yeah that was cool and she let me take a little like clip of um like the ultrasound moving just to have because you know nobody could could come and then after that i met my doctor my ob and she seemed really nice she was an older lady but um th this is the place that i had wanted to go to so I was excited to try it out and she seemed really nice now in my first pregnancy I did have high blood pressure and they did put me on blood pressure medicine so I asked her about that and this time um since she's I mean she's not the lady that I went to last time the lady that I went to with Parker's pregnancy their OB closed down because of the Hurricane Michael that we had here so anyway she told me to take baby aspirin every day so that's what I'm doing along with my prenatals and all of that um but yeah she said everything looked good the only thing she said was that for i guess second time pregnancies that you can have more ligament pain and she asked about my hemorrhoids and stuff and yes i had hemorrhoids after parker so she said those might start acting up again but yeah i'm excited and yeah that's really all i have to talk about for the eight week update so far parker doesn't really understand um i do you know say like there's a baby in my tummy and all that but he doesn't understand it yet he thinks it whenever you ask him if he's a big boy or a baby he always says i'm a baby um because i'm always calling him my baby anyway but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this before that i end the video i will go ahead and show you guys my belly <laughs> Okay, so this is my belly from the front angle and I definitely feel very bloated and I have noticed that I've already popped out a little bit more and I'm taking um, like videos like pretty much every week of the bump so at the end of my pregnancy I can do a whole like video of that but I definitely already feel like bloated and weight which I have a pic on my Instagram if you guys have already seen it you would know. Um, and yes, I have plenty of stretch marks because I already had a baby and I was one of those people that I got lots of stretch marks. So yeah, but this is from the front and then this is from this way and I will insert a picture right here of like the four to eight week mark just so you guys have a reference for this video. So yeah. Hi.